Universe Time Machine. The universe is vast, filled with one billion trillion stars, each one shining their light out into the darkness. When you look up at the sky, you're not seeing the stars as they are now, but as they were when that light was generated. Meaning, when you look up, you're looking back in time. But we didn't always know this. Scientists used to think that light was instantaneous. You light a match, you flip on a lamp, and the light travels instantly to your eyes and everywhere else. They thought the speed of light was infinite. Then a few hundred years ago, a variety of experiments showed us that light has a distinct and measurable speed of 186,000 miles per second or 300,000 kilometers per second. And this is why we can't see stars as they are today, but only as they were when their light was originally emitted. Looking up is looking back. The light we see from the sun took eight minutes and 20 seconds to reach our eyes. We're seeing its position as it was several minutes ago, not as it is right now. Think about that at your next sunset. The next closest to us is the Alpha Centauri system, which we see as it was about four years ago. Incredibly, the light from the Andromeda galaxy, our closest galactic neighbor, left it just over two million years ago, way before Homo sapiens evolved on Earth. And this is how it goes all across the sky. Every star is a different time machine, and the main source of information that we have from the universe around us is the light that we receive from objects out there. While we study stuff like astronomical objects, we can never actually see them in the moment. But we can use this property of light to investigate the history of our universe. So when we look at objects of varying distances, we look back in time to see how different stars and galaxies formed. For example, we find galaxies that are very far away, i.e. in the past, tend to look more ragged and less organized than nearby galaxies, i.e. closer to the present. The furthest back in time that we can see is from light that is 13 billion years old, emitted just after the Big Bang. But that doesn't mean that we can't see everything, because there is so much more than meets the eye when you look at the stars. So keep looking up.